The US wanted to power spaceships with nukes. Here's the crazy story. Let's go back to 1957. A soccer ball sized hunk of metal called Sputnik gets to orbit. Now the Soviets control space and Americans lose our shit. So the US dumps boatloads of money into any crazy project. Well, remember nukes? They were all the rage. So DARPA gets some Manhattan Project studs to try and harness nuke energy to get to Mars by 1965 and Saturn by 1970. But how the hell would that work? A giant Gatlin gun would fire a thousand car sized nukes out the back at up to four a second. They'd explode a tennis court behind, sending lightning fast plasma into a giant iron plate with shock absorbers. Picture a big ass nuclear pogo stick. But here's the thing, you did a thousand Gs and blow up a meteor. So the normal space travel rules about low weight are bad. You wanna be heavy as shit. The craziest ship design was like one World Trade Center high, but then 40 in total. So the first 10 days, it accelerate rapidly, then coast at 10% the speed of light. The only problem, every flight would kill one to 10 people on earth from radiation. So NASA scrapped it and ended up going with Apollo.